Hi viewers, in this video we are discussing about rank correlation coefficient. A question is there, calculate Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for the following. X variable is given, Y variable is also given. From the data we can see in the X variable the number 55 is repeating two times and 45 is repeating three times and in Y you can see 64 is repeating and 56 is also repeating. So we have to use the formula for rank correlation to find when the ranks are repeating. I already drawn all the columns. Just look, x variable given in the question and y variable is also given in the question. Next one is R1, that means the rank of x. R2 is rank of y. Next column is D, that is R1 minus R2. The last column is D square. We are finding the square of each day. Now look, this is the variable of x. First rank will go to 91, therefore I am writing 1. Second rank 85, third, fourth and fifth rank is for 60, therefore I am writing 5 here. Then the sixth rank is for 58, therefore 6 and the seventh rank is going to 55. 55 is here and 55 is here. 55 is repeating for two persons. Therefore, we have to find the mean of age. For x variable, fifth rank, seventh rank and the eighth rank is repeating for the number 55. Therefore, we are adding 7 plus 8. 2 times it is repeating, dividing by 2, then we will get 7.5. That 7.5 I am writing here and also here. That means 7 then the 8th rank is over. Up to 55 it is over. Next one is 7th and the 8th. Next rank is for 9th rank. When we are looking 9th. Then 45 is repeating 1, 2, 3 times 45 is repeating. That means 9th, 10th and the 11th rank is repeating. 9th, 10th and the 11th rank is repeating. For 3 persons it is repeating. Therefore we are dividing by 3. The mean 9 plus 10 plus 11 divided by 3. The answer is 10. Therefore we are writing 10 for 45, 10. 45, 10, then 45, 10. Similarly, we are looking for the next rank R2. R2 is for Y variable. Taking Y variable, first one 94, then second, third, fourth, and fifth rank. When we are looking to fifth rank, fifth and the sixth rank is repeating for 64. 1 times 64, 64. Taking the mean, 5 fifth and the sixth rank is repeating. 2 persons it is repeating. Dividing by 2, 5.5 is the answer. Similarly, for 8th and the ninth rank is repeating for the number 56. Therefore, we are dividing by 2. Answer is 8.5. This one we are taking as a M4, M1, M2, M3, M4. Ranking. Fifth, sixth rank is repeating 64. Then the seventh rank is here. Eighth and the ninth rank is repeating for 50. Therefore, uh, 8 plus 9 divided by 2 is 8.4. 56, 56. Then uh, next one is. 10th rank is for 50, 11th rank is for 43. 
Next column is easy. R1 minus R2. 2 minus 2 0. 10 minus 8.5. 1.5. 7.5 minus 10. Minus 2.5. Doing all the things. The next column is square row of D. 0 into 0 0. 1.5 into 1.5. 2.25 minus 2.5 into minus 2.5. The answer is 6.25. After finding all these things, we are adding d square. We will get the answer as 79. Now we are going to for the calculation. Now we got a m1, m2, m3 and a m4. Therefore, we have to continue our formula up to m4 q minus m. If one more term is there, then we have to write m5 raised to 3 minus m. According to the formula, 1 minus 6 into sigma d square plus 1 by 12 into m1 raised to 3 minus m plus 1 by 12 into m2 raised to 3 minus m2 plus m3 raised to 3 minus m3 plus 1 by 12 into m raised to 4 raised to 3 minus m. Substituting each value. d squared is the sum of d squared. The answer is 79 plus 1 by 12 into m1 we know say it as 2 m1, m2, m3, m4. Substituting each value 2 raised to 3. That is 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 8 minus 2, that is 6. Then 3 raised to 3, 27 minus 3, 24. Three ra 2 raised to 3, 8. 8 minus 2, 6. 8 minus 2, 6. Next calculation. 1 minus 6 into after doing all these calculations, we have to multiply by 6. 79, 6 by 12, 12 by, 24 by 12, 6 by 12, 6 by 12. 6 by 12 is 1 by 2, 24 by 12, 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 79 plus 2, 81. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. After doing all the addition, we have to multiply by 6. 1 minus 6 into taking the LCM, 162 plus 3 by 2. The answer will be 165. 6 by 2, that is 3, into 165. 162 plus 3 is 165. Multiplying these two, 495 divided by 1320. 1320 we will get a, here there are 11 numbers are there therefore 11 raised to 3 minus 11. 1321 minus 11 1320. Dividing these two numbers we will get a 0 0.375 therefore 1 minus 0 0.375 is equal to 0 0.625. We know that the coefficient of correlation is always lies between minus 1 and positive 1. We got the answer as 0 0.625. It is a positive number. Therefore, we can come and like is there is a moderate degree of positive correlation between the two marks or x and y. Thank you.